uh, suddenly we saw ties with Canada plummet. It happened no, literally that, within that, weeks. No, no, but that what, no, what went wrong that, there? And that uh, that is, I think, un. I mean, I I it honestly do not during see. The summit. Uh, look, I do not see a correlation there. No, I mean, uh, getting everybody idea. around on a G20 has nothing to do with the Khalistani issue in in Canada. I mean, the Khalistani issue is not a new issue. The Khalistani issue has existed for decades. Why do you think that it is uh, it has become so uh, such a thorn in the flesh? For India-Canada relations, and why do you think Prime Minister Trudeau, for a handful of Khalistanis, has put relationship with India on the rocks? Uh, look, I, I am. I can explain my government, my Prime Minister, and my book. But you're also I, an academic. I, I, you're also a diplomat. I, I, I do not. I. It's not for me to speculate uh, on other Prime Ministers, but I will tell you the the issue at heart. The issue at heart is the fact that in Canadian politics. Uh, these Khalistani forces have been given a lot of space and have been allowed to indulge in activities which uh, I, I think are damaging to the relationship, clearly uh, not in India's interest, but I would argue not in Canada's interest either. But unfortunately, that is the state of their politics. Hmm. How, do, how do you see the allegations that Canada makes on India with regard to uh, deaths which have taken place, unexplained deaths which they call and the investigations they are doing and compare it with what the Americans and how they, they uh, are reacting. Uh, Smita, I have spoken about this before. Uh, mm. It is not obviously a subject relating to my book mm. and we are not here to do a press conference. Right. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I have been quite, quite clear on this that if somebody gives us something to investigate, we will look at it. Shai, 